Hi everybody, Charles Love here with Big Sur Technologies. Today's tip is how to use Pocket Cloud. Pocket Cloud is a really neat application. It allows you to gain to access to the Big Sur Cloud via your iPad, iPhone, Droid, Nook, whatever it may be. If there's a product called Pocket Cloud in your app store, this video will pretty much mirror it. Now, there's other applications out there like ITAP, RDP, and some of the other ones. The data will pretty much be the same. I'm just going to show you how it looks in uh, Pocket Cloud. So what we're looking at on screen is a, a remote session into my iPad. Um, so th during this demo, we're going to be actually working on my iPad, and not just so you can see how things work. So why don't we go ahead and get started. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hop over to the uh, Apple Store, and we're going to search on a product on the term Pocket Cloud. Okay, there's two versions. There's the paid version and then there's the free version. Uh, for now we're just going to use the free version. So I'm going to go ahead and hit free on that. So what I'll do is it'll go ahead and it's going to install. So while it installs you're going to notice there's going to be three things you need to know. You need to know your username, your password, and your port. If you don't have that information, please call the help desk and we'll be happy to give you that data. So let's wait for this to install. It's almost done. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to click into it. Brings up the welcome screen. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to say advanced. I'm going to say uh, no to sending the data because I don't, I don't particularly like that. So now we're going to hit the plus up here in the upper left hand side and we're going to say manual. We're going to go here and we're going to pick RDP. Now the data we need to know is we're going to give it a name. So let's just call this my cloud. Okay and then we're going to hit save. Now host. You may have to ask the help desk, but here's where you put in the host. Okay, you put that in there. Now every customer is going to be a little bit different. So we're going to hit save. Now the third thing you need to know is the port. Now the port is different based upon the uh, the server you have. Every customer typically has their own port. Again, ask the help desk for what port you should use. For this example, we're going to use a different port. 3389 is the default port. I'm going to hit save. Okay, and I'm going to basically leave everything else the same. If you like, you can pre-fill in your username and your password. I prefer you don't, but I know sometimes you have to. So let's go ahead and hit save. The screen you're looking at here is what we call the dashboard, so we're going to go ahead and hit connect. At this point, it'll connect into the remote desktop server. We'll hit OK if we have a warning on it. And now we're going to click in where it says username. And we're going to, down below, you'll see where the little keyboard button is. We're going to hit that. And we're going to type your my username. Okay. We're going to use my finger and we're going to scroll the screen up just so I can get to the password field. And now I'm going to type the password. Okay, once you've typed in your password, don't hit the cancel button. Hit the little blue button or arrow. I'm going to hit the little blue button. Okay, at this point it's going to log us in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this little keyboard button to make it hide the keyboard. So now what you can see here is there's a little menu at the bottom. So this one here brings up the keyboard. To hide it, you hit it again. The little down arrow will hide the menu so that you can actually access the start button. So if you have to log off, you can log off. So I'm going to say don't save on that. Okay, so now let's go back to it. We're going to do it all again just so you can see what it looks like. We're going to hit connect. 
we're going to hit OK on here. We're going to type in our username again. And then our password. And then we're going to hit the little blue button to log in. We're going to hide that keyboard. Okay, so now we're pretty much back to our desktop. So what we can do is we can go ahead and hit that little blue arrow, and now we can navigate. That's pretty much it. So now you're on the cloud, you can run your applications, do what you want. When you're done for the day, you'll go ahead and you'll hit your start button, and then you'll hit log off. That's pretty much it. I hope you uh, enjoyed this, this little session. If you do run into any trouble, please let me know. I hope you have a great day.